Welcome back to the show, everyone. We are very happy to have our next guest join us because she is doing something to F cancer. Absolutely, and you've probably heard about the movement. Yale Cohen is the founder, and she's going to tell us more about it. How are you? Hi, Yale. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thanks. Nice so to see you. So your shirt okay. says it all, but tell us how this whole F cancer thing got started for you. You know, it started very, very organically. Uh, my mom got cancer, and I made her shirt that said, the F cancer. cancer. Yeah, yeah. I know you want to say the word so <laughs> bad. Back. But it's really funny because, uh, I mean, it leads into all these things. I mean, first of all, uh, when someone, and I think most people have had this experience that you love, is diagnosed with cancer, you're angry and it feels unfair and it is the perfect way to express it. So was it just that honest moment of being like, you know what, F this, this is ridiculous? It was. It was, um, it was literally, it was, there's nothing else you can say. It's your head right. in your hands after days and days at a hospital and it's the last thing and the only thing you can say. And how is your mom doing? She's doing well, thank you. She's and uh, w you know, with her cancer thing, she's had surgery a couple of times. How has it been for the two of you getting through it, starting this thing and having something positive to focus on instead of just focusing on being sick and the cancer? You know, I think that's, you've, you've touched on it. It's so important to have some, something and somewhere to focus your attention. Uh, it's an incredibly difficult time, obviously, but it's great to be able to do some good with it. Yeah. And so many people have embraced this movement because it, cancer is one thing that really touches somebody, whether they've had to deal with it or a family member has. How has the reaction made you feel? We've got uh, Moule on West 4th in Vancouver yeah. has, uh, well, they caused a little controversy with their windows, but yeah, it's because everybody started talking. How has it been for you to have so many people embrace your movement? It's been fantastic. It's, uh, it really lets me know that we're on the right path. And it was obvious from the beginning that this is a phrase that resonates heavily. Yeah. It's so emotionally charged. You can't help but, but feel something. And obviously every movement has its, uh, <laughs> its, it's resistance. It's slogan. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but for the most part, even people that don't agree with the word yeah. agree with what we're trying to do. Well, and how much of this is, is a reflection of your mom's personality as well? Because oh. <laughs> I don't know many moms that uh, you could hand a, a, a t-shirt with the F-bomb on it uh, to your mom. So how much of this and, and this expression and this spirit is, is sort of a tribute to your mom and the person that she is as well? It's all, it's all for my mom. She's amazing. She's a fantastic sense of humor. And that's something that really got my family through this was your sense of humor. When you've lost that, you've, you've really lost it all. Yeah. And she still wears it everywhere. What do people say when you wear it or, or your mom? Like, what's the general reaction when, when you're wearing the shirts? You get, I mean, they're varied, but they're, there's a lot of them. High fives, hugs, people want to tell you their story or hear your story. Uh, if, you know, I get the 90 year old grandma in her wheelchairs yeah. shouting. Well, and that's that. the really? Magic. That's so cool. And, and this is what you guys have done that I think is so brilliant with, with the movement and then the foundation that you're starting is, is because it's a conversation piece, uh, you've done something really proactive as well. And, and maybe explain uh, what's happening with the movement and where you guys are focusing your energies. Yeah, so that's just it. This is a conversation piece. And what we're trying to do is get people talking about cancer because nobody talks about it until they have it. And if you don't talk about it, you don't know how to look for it. Yeah. So 90% of cancers are curable if caught in stage one. And I want everybody to be finding their cancers when they're curable. Yeah. Well, Mike's doing it with Movember, too, and it's the same thing I've that noticed. men are doing. You know, yeah, have, you, have, have you noticed it's my mustache? Looking good. <laughs> when you're a man, you know, getting your prostate checked. When you're a woman, it's learning how to get a breast exam or talking to your mm -hmm. doctor and yeah. starting that dialogue before you are given the C word in a doctor's office, I guess. And that's just it. It's so important to know, you know what your risk factors in your family history and the earliest warning signs of cancer are often seemingly benign and highly embarrassing. Yeah. So we need to we need to bring Open them the into dialogue. exactly engage with cancer in a different level and become comfortable talking about it so we know what to look for. Well, and that's the brilliance of this, right? It it makes it kind of comfortable to talk about. It. It's like, you know, well, yeah, I'm going to check because I have cancer, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't want that. Now, are there uncensored versions of this shirt? Oh, Please. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> we saw yeah. triple the ones that have sensed That is so awesome. So they're available in both versions, obviously. Yes. And people can get them at Moulay and they can get them online as well. Yes. And where does money go for uh, the money that you're raising? So it goes towards creating and implementing these campaigns. So teaching people how to, how to firstly, building them up to this base level of education where we all know, you know how to look for cancer, what our risk factors are, and the earliest warning signs. And then we get... Gen Y to engage with their parents, actually. So because of this interesting place in history where we are, where we, for the first time in history, might actually know more than our parents, yeah. because of Facebook and Twitter and social media, 
we take that responsibility and galvanize it into a positive change. Yeah. So teach your parents how to look for it because they're well, in the highest risk demographic. We're seeing the baby boomer generation, our parents, uh, you know, enter a stage of their life where cancer is becoming frighteningly prevalent as well. So this really is our opportunity to, to sort of help them out at the same time that we're helping our generation. Exactly. Well. By teaching them, you're going to learn. So yeah. that when you're in the highest risk demographic, you, you know how to look for cancer. Very well, cool. yeah, congratulations on the movement and uh, best wishes to your mom, who sounds very, very cool. And if you <laughs> want to join the movement, you can go to the website. And the t-shirts are available at Moulet stores on and online as well if you want to pick them up. They come in this version here, the censored version that we have on the show today. And then you can get the real deal uh, in the stores or online as well. And boys, don't be dumb. Check your bum. And ladies, <laughs> breast exams. There you go, Mike. Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> Anybody? Michael! <laughs> Sorry.